Hello guys, this is Kandi. Welcome to my channel. Today we have a recently released most interesting motor scooter in this segment that is TVS Entark 125. Let's check its review today and we have my friend Kabilan here. He is the owner of this bike and he is the first one to get this bike in Chennai. So it will be very interesting to check the specs about the bike. So let's check it now. Guys, as I said before, now we are seeing the new TVS N Torque 125. This bike looks so fresh and nice. See the details given by TVS. It looks so stunning. TVS claimed this design as stealth aircraft design and it looks very perfect in this bike. As you can see, it, it is very aggressive. And the deal breaker of this bike is its engine. It is 4 stroke single cylinder air cooled OHC 124.79 cc engine which turns out the power range is 9.4 PS at 7500 RPM and 10.5 Nm of torque at 5500 RPM. This power ratios are working with the very light weight of this bike that is 116 kg. It makes the bike surprisingly quick and its low end pickup is unbelievably superb. I have also made the top spin run of this bike and I have attached it with end of this video so keep watching until the end guys more interesting things are yet to come so don't miss it. And this bike comes in 4 color variants they are red, white, green and yellow. Today we have red variant with us and it looks very stunning in this color too. And TVS equipped this bike with so many features and one of the most important feature about this bike is Smart Connect that is Bluetooth pairable instrument console. Yeah, we can pair the mobile phone with the Bluetooth pairable instrument cluster given in this bike. It has almost 55 features in this instrument console. We will check those features later and coming to the styling part, this bike comes with the LED DRL in the front that looks almost like an Chevy symbol but TVS claim it as bat wing styled DRL lights. Also it comes with TVS signature T rear tail lamp and it looks very aggressive and attractive in this bike. TVS N Torque comes with 220mm front pedal disc brakes and 130mm rear drum brake and these brakes give so much confidence to brake and uh, I have ridden this bike in almost 100kmph and it was so easy to bring back the bike stand still. Detailing of this bike is in another level and quality of the products used in this bike is top notch. We can clearly see the hard work of the TVS and we can assure that the bike is going to be a segment winner. TVS has put so much effort in the attention and detail because we can see almost perfect design and color themes. Exhaust muffler looks beefy and sporty and it perfectly suits the design of this bike. Gap rails looks more sportier because it is almost same as we see in the TVS Apache bikes. Fuel lid is placed over the rear tail lamp so we don't need to open the seat cover to fill the fuel. We have two hooks below the handlebar and below the seats to carry our luggages. And it can carry up to 3 cages. This 12 inch 
Diamond cut alloys with fatter TVS Remora tires gives us so much confidence in even the bad roads and also during the slight corners. Handle grips and switch controls are newly designed and it performs solid. Usually we never get engine kill switch in the scooters but now TVS equipped this n with the engine kill switch. Seats are well cushioned and these twin red stitches makes it looks premium. And the performance of this bike is so promising so let's check how much time it is going to take to reach 0 to 60 and its top speed. So the 0 to 60 speed I have achieved in 6.2 seconds and the top speed I could able to reach is 98 kmph. It is pretty good for this bike and it, it could do more but the road is not that long so I could not able to make more speeds in this road. In future I will take, take this bike to some other long stretch roads and I will try to achieve more speeds on this bike Six, but 0 to 60 within 6.2 seconds is pretty impressive I think this is best in this segment so I could able to reach 98 kmph in this motor scooter and it doesn't feel like riding a motor scooter I just felt like riding a bike and it felt so stable at those high speeds and I never felt any vibrations or whatsoever in terms of power, this bike competes with Honda Gracia and Aprilia SR125 and both those bikes doesn't get such a futuristic instrument console and both of them are costing much higher than this bike so according to price range it saves your pocket and according to the power terms it is almost same all those three bikes are producing same power ranges and TVS has wide service network comparing to the Aprilia and my final verdict is if you are not a Honda fanboy and if you don't like funky color bikes like Aprilia then you can definitely select this bike as your 125cc motor scooter because it costs much lesser than other two bikes in this category and it also offers the same kind of power and the quality features. And I will make a separate video regarding the instrument console features of this bike and I will leave the link in the uh, top of the screen and also in the description of this video. Please check it and share this video with your friends like this and subscribe to my channel. Meet you guys in next vlog. Take care. Bye bye.